Water is the source of life for pretty much everyone on this planet. With it we can cook, we can clean, we can wash, we grow our food using it. Everyone needs it to survive. But without it, it leads to devastation. It's poverty for everybody. Now every single day, 780 million hours are walked by women, children, the elderly, carrying, you know, kilograms full of water. And a lot of time it's done in the blistering heat just like this. They have to walk so far. And when they come back and they bring that water home, a lot of the time it's not even clean drinking water. When you look around, all you see is, is barren land. It's just desolate. There's nothing here, just sometimes some shrubs, but just desert in a, in a sense. And one thing we saw as we drove up here was dead animals' carcasses at the side of the road. And the, the rivers, which were clearly very big before, are now just completely dried up. And this is meant to be the rainy season. So if this is the rainy season and it's dry now, imagine what it's like throughout the year. We're in the middle of Garia village. 650 families, that's 4,500 people in a makeshift camp. This is an IDP camp. These people are internally displaced. Where they came from, their homes were washed away by floods. And they've been here for more than two years. And you can see these are tents, straw homes. That's it, nothing more, nothing, nothing elaborate. It's a temporary accommodation. The government have decided to move them to another location. And the irony of this story is that the homes were ruined by water, flooded, but where they're being moved to, there's no water source. The closest water source is 16 kilometers. It's these situations where their most essential need is water. We don't see big barrels of water. We don't see water pumps like you do. You don't see hand pumps. It's nothing, there's no water. They have to get their donkeys or they have to get a bucket on their head and they have to walk for kilometers, 16 from this particular location and at times more. Now the problem is that that's not clean water. That's not clean water at all. The water's dirty, it's murky, it's full of parasites. I asked the villagers how their lives are affected by the distinct lack of clean, safe drinking water. So Brother Yasser, we're here in Um Kateta. This is just one village. Uh, tell me about the whole region. Is, is everything like this everywhere in this area? 70,000 people live here and it is difficult to say these people have any kind of life. Lack of everything. No education, no health, no water, nothing. The kids, they don't go to school. So there's no schools, there's no doctors, yes. there's no madrasa, none of these things are nothing, here. Nothing, nothing. We spoke to some people, we mentioned you don't have food, you don't have education. They weren't interested in talking about that. No. The only thing they wanted to point out was the fact that they don't have water. Yes. They don't have clean because water. Because you know, water means life. They guess if they have a clean water, they will not get sick. This is the other side of the problem. Here around us, we have dirty water. And this is the dirty water that kills people. It has bacteria, it has germs, it has diseases. And essentially, it is death for many of the people all around here. And at times, it's what they have to go back to. If a water well breaks down, if a hand pumps break down, then people resort to this. And you see, it's a dirty, crummy people. And our little brothers and sisters around here, they shouldn't have to drink this. They shouldn't have to resort to this. We drove for more than a day to a village deep in the desert to meet villagers on a long journey to the closest well. Looking down here, maybe 30 feet down into the well, and the water's there for now, but that doesn't seem like the type of well that's deep enough to last them long enough for the whole year. And that's why they need to have certain things in place like boreholes. Borehole is the solution for many of these people. And for those of you that don't know, a borehole is a device that is drilled down meters and meters, sometimes up to a thousand meters into the ground. And it's a mechanical device, it's a pump that brings the water up. And that's the long-term solution that these people need, and that will help to allow their community to flourish. 
And there you go, the water seems fine. But the reality is that this water is not good enough for them. It's only for the animals, it's not clean enough to drink. It's plain to see that what is needed here and for all the villages that I visited is a water well. Wadi Sharif is an example of a refugee camp that has a water station built by Munta the Aid and it's now starting to flourish. We thank God for our bottom of our hearts for giving us this opportunity so as to get the water here. The water has helped us more because we have tried to use it in building the bricks and also in many things, as you know, the water has an important role in the life, as you know. I'm surrounded by an area that they call the forest. And they call it that because, as you can see, this, it's a lush greenland, okay? And it is a forest in comparison to what would have been here before, which is nothing but desert. And Alhamdulillah, now from the water source, they've created an irrigation system where it's feeding and nourishing the land. They've got onions growing here. They've got uh, grass to feed the animals. They've got pumpkins. They've got hibiscus plant. You know, exotic things that you would never expect to be in a complete, you know, desolate area. But Alhamdulillah, now they're feeding the people in the area. The grass is feeding the animals so they can have livestock in the animals, which means they can have milk, meat. So it's really become a thriving area. You walk a few minutes to the other direction, it's nothing but barren de desert land. So Alhamdulillah, it's beautiful to see. And this is the difference that you can make, a sadaqa jariya. So that when we're long gone in our graves, that all the plants, all the water is feeding people, is nourishing people, and we can all take a share in that.